Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. You are looking at Simone White. And if you watched my previous Create a Sins video, you'll know that I am starting the Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs Challenge. The goal of the challenge is for one young adult Sim to take care of seven toddlers. And as you can see here, they are seven toddlers. Um, successfully and age the, until they age up to children without having them being taken away by child services. Um, or I guess the rules say evils since it's supposed to be Snow White and the Seven Doors. This is their house. I don't know if I said it in any of my previous videos. Hold on, let's put all the walls up. All the walls up, there we go. I don't know if I said it in previous videos. I'm not a builder, so I did not build this house. I got it off the gallery from someone that I follow. Um... Some of you, if you watch other YouTube videos, you may know her as Jen or Urban Sims or Urban X Sims. I think that's what it is. Anyway, she has it up for the, up on the gallery and um, she, she's currently using it for her not so berry challenge, but I figured I would use it for this because I'm not a builder and I feel like I would probably either make the house too big or not enough space and have to keep re-editing it. So all I needed was a plain house. I decorated this myself. This is not how she has it decorated. Um, so let me introduce you to our toddlers. <laughs> Excuse me. We have Sienna Landis. Um, and she is, now all these toddlers have a different trait and they're kind of to coincide with the dwarves traits I guess in a sense you could say so Sienna Landis and she is our, our angelic one so she's I guess you can say considered sleepy the sleepy dwarf then behind her we have uh, Delja Delja is silly and she's dopey over here, um, we have Harlow, and she's our charmer, and she is ha the happy dwarf. Um, ooh, excuse me, why I keep doing that? Scion Landis is Sienna's twin brother, and he's wild. He is sneezy, so that's why you see he has the red eyes and nose. I tried to give them at least some similar looks to the doors, but not really. My own twist, I guess you could say. And then Mr. here with the pacifier in his mouth, Mr. Fussy is Grayson with Winston, excuse me. And he's our grumpy dwarf. Then over here we have Brandon who's clingy. Um, he's our bashful dwarf. And then Doc with her cute little red glasses, Dominique Clemens, who's independent. Um... Simone, I tried to give her a similar, I guess, coloring for her outfit wise as Snow White, but not completely. Um, I did kind of come up with a backstory for them, but first before I hit play, because I'll kind of, I'll probably put the backstory in the description as well as kind of give a quick snippet here. But since none of these kids are technically Simone's, they're not registered as some children that she'll take care of. So she has to go through um, toddler care and adopt as a care dependent for all the kids. And this means that she will regularly check up on them, make sure they're okay, they're fed, and all that good stuff. All the care, adopt as care dependent. I have watched, ooh, I watched two other simmers do this challenge and it can be quite challenging at first. There is levels to this challenge. I am playing it on the easy level because one, I tend to play my sim games on long anyway. So that's why it's on long lifespan. Long lifespan is easy. Normal is, I guess, the average challenge. And then short is hard. Not doing short. And then normal, of course, I don't do because I rarely play on normal unless my legacy challenge. Um, let me make sure. Did I get everybody? I don't know. Did I get... <laughs> Okay, I think I got everybody. Let's see. Ooh, no. Dominique, Brendan, Grayson, Sion. Yes, okay. Now let's hit play. 
Let's see what happens. Hopefully she will take care of them. It is 8.03 in the morning. Everybody's needs is kind of up. So she may not have to do much right now. Hopefully they can get inside. Or else she's going to have to be carrying all of them. Um, let's. Oh, they're all going inside. Oh, look at their walks. They're waddling. Didn't this come in already? Clear. Um, okay, yeah, the goal of the challenge, like I said before, is for her to get them all to age up to ch children without being taken away. And they all have to each, I think, get at least level three in potty. I will also leave a link to the challenge rules in the description, just in case you guys want to try it out yourselves. Excuse me, I got my notes, so you might hear some page turning. Um, I don't really play challenges for point systems, but I'll kind of do this one a little bit. I guess at the end, I'll calculate all of mine. What are you doing? Washing rain ice. Girl, you got toddlers still outside. Can we bring them inside? This one was crying. Um, pick up. Let me see. Can we get them to go inside? Because I don't want y'all just be standing. Let's see. See, the other ones went inside and started playing. Um, let's go play. Who else is outside? Ren is still outside. Go play. Who else is oh, she's inside. She's inside. Outside. There was someone else outside still. She's picking him up. Or did she not? Okay, she has him in his hand in her hand. Oh. Scion is still outside. Come on, Scion. Come inside. Let's see, go play with dolls. <laughs> now I've only played with two different families that have had toddlers since toddlers have been released and both families have had twins and it can be a bit frustrating at times but more so not with the toddlers but with the oh. older sims not doing what you're know, telling them to do so we just gonna hold oh he is kind of he is the fussy one so let's see can we talk to him let's play with him since you just watching TV girl People getting skills over here. Vanessa? Watch this little cute interaction. I'm sorry if I do a lot of squealing because toddlers are super adorable in Sims 4. <laughs> Now, Simone is not allowed to have a job, clearly, because she can't leave the house with seven toddlers here. But she is allowed to get help from a nanny, um, friends, whoever. Now, the goal of this challenge is not necessarily for her to get into any romantic relationships. It's just for her to be good friends with all these lovely toddlers and to get going. Ooh, should I put some music in their toy room? I think so. I tried to make sure I had everything ready before I hit play and record. Let's put something in there around so they can hear some music. Yeah, there we go. And let's turn on. Because I love watching them dance. Turn on. Kids radio. Oh, Welcome Wagon is here. We got to make some friends because we might need some help. Ooh, Bella Goth. And they live ac across the street from the Goth. Invite neighbors in. I usually don't really care for Welcome Wagons, but it is what it is. She needs help. She's going to need the help. <laughs> Girl, why? Ain't nothing wrong with your door. It's not locked. Are they standing too close? Invite neighbors in. Girl, we gonna move? What is the problem? Hold on, go here. Come on. Okay, now can we invite neighbors in? I don't know why I kept telling you no. Let's see what she got here. Potty train a toddler. What is this one? Chat with someone. Oh, I forgot to tell you her traits. She's cheerful, a foodie, and family oriented. 
And I did give the house some traits, but I don't know if it would necessarily help me with the challenge. It's just make it a little bit easier for them to gain, for her to gain certain skills. I guess in a sense. But I am playing on long, so we'll see. Um. Oh, what are you about to go do? Oh, wait, someone's in the blue. What's wrong? Why are you sad? Toy timeout. What? What? Oh, that was cute. Oh, I missed it. I wanted to take a picture. Okay, what is his moodlet? Sigh, will someone provide me with something else to do? These toys are going to bring on the tears. And he, who? Brenton is, what is his trait again? Oh, he's clingy. Oh, Lord. Yeah, he's going to need your attention all the time, girl. Why are you outside? Oh, who is that? Oh. What the heck? Um, let's go play with him because he was kind of fussy. <clears throat> Check on toddler. Even though you kind of do need to get to know your neighbors. They over here chatting by themselves. Mr. Wild, what are you about to go do? Oh, he's checking out the dishwasher. I didn't put any high chairs because it's too many toddlers for her to try to put in high chairs. And honestly, with my other two households, every time they would put them in a... Oh, there we go again. Every time they would put them in a high chair, half the time they would end up taking them out again. Are you going to potty, Miss Independent? <gasps> yes, you are. Go ahead, good girl, Dominique. Already getting her potty training in. What you over here doing, Delja? Apple. Um, Grayson, can we come inside? Yes, thank you. What are we doing? Let's come over here and play with that. They're all not doing very much at the moment because they... They don't have much skills, have to read the books. Oh, what's wrong now? Tired of rough housing. Okay, I'm sorry. Ma'am, don't clean up all the toys. Leave them out. They're going to need them. Um, Let's go help her potty train. Oh, she's kind of got it on her own. Let's turn the introduction because you're going to need some help. Why are you crying so much already? Oh, goodness, this is going to be a problem already. Because I have tend to pick the easier traits when I have been playing my other toddlers. Greet your neighbor. At least introduce yourself to them, then we can go about our business. What are you doing, Sienna? Oh, you came out here to talk to your brother, but he went inside the room to dance. Everybody seems to be enjoying the toy room. All these scales are getting come in. Okay. Where are you, Simone? Come on. And Mr. Brandon is still blue. Come on. Come check on him. You have a fridge. Did I not? Oh my goodness. I did not put a fridge. Lord have mercy. I was not. <laughs> How did I forget to put in a fridge? Oh, okay. Hold on. So bad. I don't know how on earth I forgot to put in a fridge. Uh, let's do that. Okay, there we go. I don't know how I did not notice that. Okay, we got that cut and taken care of. Um, oh, he went out here. He went. Oh, I was like, who am I following? Pause, hold on. Oh, he's not blue anymore. I'm gonna see what you got. Okay. Um, let's see. Check on, check on toddler. Everybody seems to either be fine. Delja is happy, but she's a silly one, so she's probably gonna be. She's satisfied with dancing, so she's happy. 
They're so cute. This room I think is gonna be forever a mess. Where are you going, Simone? Oh, you about to go give him a hug? Cute. Let's take a picture. Oh, let's put walls up first before we take a picture. Where are we? I just want to take a picture with the walls up. Is it hard to do it with this, in this angle? Let's see, walls up. All the way up. There we go. Tab. Didn't really want it with Bella Goth in the background, but whatever. Cute. I, I might be taking a lot of pictures, like I said, because toddlers are adorable. Okay, you need to use the restroom, though. Let's take care of your needs. You gotta make sure you don't get too bad either. Is there drama going on in my kitchen or my dining room? Let's see. She's happy. I think it's time for her to start cooking, though, because they're all about to be really hungry. So let's... Cook. Let's see. What should we cook for the kitties? Some mac and cheese. Like a party size. Was he coming to talk to us? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, what's wrong? <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice. Yeah, y'all all about to be hungry, so we're gonna let her cook. Let's see. Um, okay. I'm trying to figure out who needs, anybody need anything? Not really. Y'all calling just exploring the playroom. I like that I could watch her cook and then I could see the kid what the kids are doing in here. Where are you going, Delja? Talking to Sion. Where is Sion? Where did he go? Why is he outside? <clears throat> Mr. Wild, you don't need to stay inside the house. I might have to lock this front door so he's not going in the back door so he's not going in and out of the house. So they're not all going in and out of the house. Oh, this food is not for you, boo-boo. Y'all can leave, actually. This is for the toddlers. Um, We should probably go. Welcome again. Thanks, Bella God. Bye. Don't nobody come take no food. Who's hungry? They all kind of are. Let's see. Come grab a serving. Hold on. Have them all come grab a serving. Grab a serving. Grab a serving. Grab a serving. Because we're going to have to get this schedule. Everybody going to have to be on a schedule. Everybody going to eat at the same time. Simone, stop putting everything up. Leave the toys alone. Come clean up what your guests left. Put away this fruitcake. <clears throat> I wonder where they all about to go eat. Right there in the middle? Hold on. Where y'all headed? Let's not go outside. Hold on. Lock door. For everyone but Simone. Because I don't like this aspect. Y'all keep going outside. Lock door for everyone but Simone. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> and if we hire anybody, we'll allow access for them. Because I don't want them to keep going outside. Okay. They were going to the chair. <gasps> oh, no. Sienna's still outside and I locked the door. Oh, she can come. Oh, so it don't matter if I lock the door, they can still go in and out? Okay. Sion, where you going? Did you grab your plate? Okay, you did grab your plate. Look at them, they all eating on the couch. Okay. You need to eat too, Simone. Let's have time. Okay. Are you going to watch Sion eat? Oh, 
Sign and Brenda came in here. This is the girls' room, though. I'm gonna get you something to eat. Um, where is it? Grab a server. Or do you have one in your inventory already? No, you don't. Because I've noticed that since the toddler update, when they would cook, they would automatically pick up a serving and have it in the inventory, but they wouldn't eat that one. <clears throat> okay, you're gonna go eat in here with all of them. Okay. Dominique is done eating, but she needs attention. Um, come and talk to. Babble, because you don't really know how to talk just yet. Come and babble to Simone while you while she eats. Let's see. Everybody can use a little bit of Simone's attention. Well, not so much Scion. Oh yes, all of them need your attention, girl. So talk to everybody. Um. Why you need a lecture about misbehavior? She didn't do anything. Tell a funny story. Oh, Brennan's done, so he's going about to go away. Get to know her. I did say I was going to tell the backstory, but it's kind of long, so I might just just put it in the description. It's a little tragic, but not too much. Yes, it is. It's tragic. And I usually don't come up with a storyline for my play when I play Sims. Maybe a backstory even once in a while. But that's it. Bright and Tay. And I think Simone is actually supposed to make sure she tops out on certain skills as well too before the challenge is over. Um Oh, she needed your attention too, so bright and day. Talk to her. Oh, what's wrong, Harlow? Harlow's blue. What's wrong? Where is. Oh, her attention is super low, but you're talking to someone. You're talking to Delsha. Simone, come talk to her. Bright and day. Bright her day. Come on, bright her day. Get to know her. Talk to her. Let's turn on some music out here. Turn on kids radio out here too. See, she's sad too. <clears throat> oh, I'm on the wrong person. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Should we play with her? That might get it up faster. Talk about day. Get to know her. Now, if this was Sims 3, Simone would probably get that um, mood lit about being trapped in the house for never really leaving. Because I don't think she can really take them anywhere other than unless she takes them all to the park. But there's too many toddlers to try to wrangle around a public park. Okay, everybody's green again. Oh. Ooh, but she needs a nap. Um, oh, it is already 7 p.m. Yes, it is time to start putting kids to bed. Okay, so I need to claim beds for children. So I think I want this one to be Harlow's bed. Free toddler to sleep. Harlow, because she is exhausted. It's already 7, shoot, because by the time you get all of them in bed, it might be by 9 o'clock. Okay, so you're going to read her to sleep first. Delja love her dancing. You see our cute little sleepwear with Pooh and Piglet, and I think Igor too. <clears throat> okay, let's see who else is gonna need to go to bed next. 
because yeah they're all about exhausted okay so whose bed did i want this to be um i think this will be well sienna's already in that bed she's already she sienna wait little she waiting on her bedtime story Okay, you will then read Sienna to sleep since she's already sitting on... Yep, so they all getting in bed. They ready for their bedtime story. None of the boys are going to their bed, but it looks like all the girls are coming to their bed. Oh, not Dominique, but she's coming to talk to someone. Okay, you got... Where you going, Sienna? Come back. Ooh, ooh, that was a big one, wasn't it? Then we will read Delja to sleep, and then read Dominique to sleep. I don't know if she can read them all to sleep tonight, though. She might have just put the boys to bed, because this is going to take a minute. No, you can't nap here. Sorry, sweetheart. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had you, I'm assigning you guys a bit. So come in here, sweet, come here. See, Dominique went in here. Hold on. Take a nap here. Right, she's supposed to be reading Delja to sleep. Delja. Okay, where did, Sienna, where did you go? Okay, hold on. Okay, no more reading. I don't think we can read anybody. I think you're going to just put everybody to bed. Put <clears throat> Sienna to bed. Put Dominique to bed. Yeah, we can't read everybody to sleep. This is not going to work. Only select few will get bedtime stories every night or certain nights. So that means tomorrow night, Delja and Harlow don't get bedtime stories. Sienna about to go to bed herself, though. She's like, you taking too long. Why didn't you get in your sleepwear already, Delja? Okay, we're going to put everybody to sleep now. I gave them all passies for bedtime. Okay. Dominique is over here sleeping in this bed though. Get wake up sweetheart. Oh Lord, they're all angry. Come on, hurry up, get them to bed. Come on, put Dominique to sleep. Then we gonna um put Brendan oh, cause he's sleeping that we can't. Okay, so let's put Sion. No, girl. Ooh, Dominique. No, ma'am. Put Tyler to bed. I know you were napping, but I'm trying to put you in your bed. Please go put Dominique in the bed. Why? What is the problem? Because she's throwing attention right now? Pause. Oh, she needs attention, too. And she's funky. Okay, hold on. Oh, Lord, already a struggle. I'm trying not to have him to keep pause, but okay. Um, Tyler care, change diaper, praise. Okay, let's give her. We got to give her some attention. Oh, I need auto lights. There's a lot of lights on here. Oh no, all lights. Auto lights, all lights. Some of them might actually end up going to bed before she gets to them. Someone's over here asleep. Oh my goodness, look at him sleeping. Who's this? Grayson went to sleep on the couch. Oh, they're all kind of asleep, but they're not in their beds. Oh, this is a disaster. Come on, hurry up. Okay. All right. Okay, now put her to bed. Put Tyler to bed. 
Dominique. I don't think any of the boys... Okay, they're all kind of napping. Ooh. She want to talk. Dominique, you've got to go to sleep, sweetheart. You like bananas? Um, you would need the child to put her to sleep. What is the problem? Is something wrong with the bed? Maybe. Hold on. That might be the issue, too. Because I did have move objects on. Okay. Because I know it can be against the wall. Let's try that. Put Tyler to bed. Dominique. No beam. It is still not working. Okay. Hold on. Because it's going to have to work. Once I put this over here. Okay, let's try it now. Once again. Put Tyler to be it. Dominique. Thank you. Okay. Come on. Here we go. At least you're not too exhausted yet. That's all right. Put Dominique to bed. Oh, did I not give her a passy for bed? I don't think I did because she's independent, so I figured she wouldn't need one. Why did she crawl out of the bed? What are we doing? Come on. Tuck her in. Took her glasses off and, and kiss. Oh, so sweet. Yes. Okay, now we got these boys over here. Oh, Brandon's up. So let's. Hold on. Oh, no, he went back to sleep. More choices. Can we? Tyler care. Put to bed. Okay. Right. Grayson's up from his nap. And got enter energy. But you about to go to bed, sir. See, it is 12 o'clock. Come on. No, we're not telling a story. Tuck in. Tuck him in. Girl. See, now you're exhausted. Tuck him in. Because, look. Sion needs his diaper change. Tuck him in. He's crying. Um, what choice is Tyler care? Change diaper. Brendan, she just tucked you in. Why are you getting out of bed? Oh, because he wasn't in his sleepwear. Oh, this is going to take forever. Why are you picking him up? Just change his diaper. Oh, you're putting him in the bed. But you need to change it. Oh, forget it. Don't change his diaper. You'll change it in the morning. Put Tyler to bed. Grayson, did he ask for a story? I was about to say, we don't have time for stories. Grayson needs his diaper change too. Whew. This is exhausting. Bedtime is a chore for real, for real. Come on. He's probably going to have a diaper rash in the morning, but it's not working out right now. <sighs> he was kind of giving her a crazy look just now. Like, why are you putting me in bed with his dirty diaper? That's all right. We'll come use your restroom, and then you will go to sleep. Whew. What a day. 
mealtime wasn't a problem. It was getting them to bed was the problem. And I don't know, she they all gonna be up before her probably, especially Miss Harlow, because she went to bed first. This is gonna be a challenge for real. Day by day process is gonna be a problem. Let's go to sleep. Oh, and she didn't even clean up. There is plates everywhere. Uh oh, someone had a nightmare. She ain't never gonna get to sleep. <laughs> Sion is up. So very sad. Had a nightmare. Oh, sorry, not Sion. Grayson. Grayson had a bad nightmare. A little comfort should be enough to get him back to get back to bed. Oh, they gotta walk a distance to get to her room too. Oh, he needs all kinds of attention. He needs food. He needed. Bath. Oh, girl. She got a little bit of sleep. She's going to need some coffee. Um, change diaper. We're going to give him a bath because that'll probably calm him down too. Toddler care. What is wrong with you, little boy? He's throwing attention. He don't want his diaper change. In real life, there's no question. You get your diaper change. What is his grace and straight? He's the fussy or clean one? He's fussy. Look at him laughing, Mr. Nasty. Go give him a bath because diaper is not going to work. Vanessa? Being equipped. Let's go give him a bath. He's having fun. Yes, you are. You still got a sad moolah because it's more than one yet. Well, at least his attention and hygiene is going up and fun at the same time. Let's see. Can we? Oh, so cute. I do apologize. I'm going to keep giggling throughout this challenge because toddlers, like I said, toddlers are so adorable. <laughs> okay, what does he need now? He needs to be fed. See, he's still fussy. Um, let's see. Choices, toddler care. Um... No, you will not take a piece of the fruit cake. <sighs> okay. She's got to comfort him some more. Then we're going to send him back to bed because, um, brighten his day. And then put him to bed. Because, <clears throat> let me see, what time will Harlow be up? Harlow will be up very soon. Okay, very soon. Come on. Let me see if we can get him back to bed. We might need to hire a maid because this is going to be a problem at first. Let's not go eat that. Yeah, someone else in here is funky. Come on, go to sleep. Gonna tuck him in and give him a little kiss on the forehead. There you go. No, and then you will go back to sleep because you need to take care of your needs. And with that, guys, I think I'm gonna end the part here. 
Don't forget to hit that like button if you haven't. Subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell button when you subscribe so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. And I'll see you guys in the next part. Bye.